you know what I love, Caleb, is in, in Hebrews 11, I don't have it open in front of me, but um, after all this list of faith, right, going with Abel all the way down, he goes on like, I can't even list them all, obviously, and then he talks about they dwelled in caves, they were, they were tortured, sawn in half, right? I mean, these are the genuine believers. Right. This is what their experience was. And he says, of whom, and it always stops me in my tracks, of whom the world was not worthy. Okay. Of whom the world was not worthy. What does that mean? Okay, so you go back to any of those, any of those, what we call heroes of the faith, right? Not that they're heroes in like a Marvel comic kind of way, but they were genuine people of God. They put their life on the line for their faith time and again when the system, the quote world, wanted to shape them to be something different. Just like he talks about Moses in Egypt. He said, forget the riches of Egypt. Right. He 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 saw value eternal value in in, in identification with Messiah. Right? So we don't have all the details of how uh, Moshe can understood Messiah. I mean, we, we have what's in the Torah. We only have what's preserved in writing for us. But we know that he, th- that all these people of faith before Messiah came, understood heavenly values, and they they were anchored in the what is valuable and precious to God in spite of what the worldly consequences were, whether that meant they were going to be thrown in a, a pit right. like Joseph or, or Jeremiah or Son in two, which is the tradition concerning Isaiah. They would not budge on their faith, but they weren't rallying out trying to create a new sect. You know, they weren't out trying to create a, a covenant like, like, like Ezra does. And I think he sets the, you know, I'm not, it, Ezra sets a, a tone that then you have later groups making sectarian um, like uh, constitutions like and you sign and you they actually take oaths of covenant that I'm going to behave this way and I'm not going to share inside knowledge with outsiders and all this stuff and it skews what an identity of, of God's people are Paul is in Galatians he's trying to pull the rug out from under the people who are who are really confident about their worldly identity their dirt and he's saying look you don't understand what Messiah is all about. You don't understand what faith is all about. You don't understand what Abraham, the person you're identifying with, and you're using his name, you don't understand what it's all about. And Paul's trying to shake them up really well so that they can, um, and then to, to reaffirm who they are in Messiah and to say, this is the core. Don't miss any clips from Messiah Matters by clicking the subscribe button. Also, give this video a thumbs up and share it so other people can see it too.